Good morning. Good morning. We are at 1.5 miles. 1.5 miles. And we're doing 11 miles today. It's been a few weeks since we've run together. Maybe three weeks. So one, uh, 1 1.5 of 11. And we remembered that one of our subscribers like a month or two ago suggested we do a video on the dangers of barefoot running. I think that's what he said. And what we do about it. And then I was gonna say if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, just let us know in the comments and we'll try to make videos about um, your suggestions. Um, but dangers, we'll give that a little thought and come back to you. <laughs> Bye. Hi, we're on 6.77 miles. We are both barefoot now. And Ray's gonna share some of the dangers of barefoot running and I'll share some of the solutions. So a few of the dangers of barefoot running are running at, not, running at night. So just make sure you're, you have a flashlight or you need to see where you're stepping on because you can step on glass. And then another danger is if you're, if you're running barefoot and if there's a lot of water, obviously your, your foot can slip on the water. So you gotta be careful. Basically always look where you step. And then what's the other one? So for example, if you have athlete's foot, you, sh you really need to treat that because what happens is if you don't treat it, it starts to crack your skin and you don't want to run barefoot with your skin cracked because that can, you can get your foot infected that way. Yeah. There's another one that we thought of, but I can't remember it right now. Uh, I don't know, we'll think of it later. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the other thing, dangers of running barefoot is if it looks soft and you think you can step on it, Maybe err on the side of caution, don't step on it. Because I stepped on something that looked soft, but actually it was kind of hard. It was kind of like an acorn. Like a seed pod. Seed pod. And it bruised my foot real bad. Um, it lasted for like a week, the bruise that is. So just watch out for that. And a good solution for that is to just go barefoot all the time so you can kind of get a sense for how things will feel on your feet. Mm -hmm. um, you kind of get to know what the seed pods feel like when you just step on them at a walking pace, mm -hmm. which is easier than come like <laughs> barreling down running. Your whole so, yeah. <laughs> yep. So we just finished 11 miles and behind us you can see the island that we were camping on last week. If you see that on the horizon. That's the island we were camping on last week. So we wanted to conclude by saying barefoot running is not as dangerous as you think it is. And then you had some things. Yeah, so yeah, it's not as difficult as you think. You basically ease into it. You have to walk barefoot before you run barefoot. And you know, like we said before, go out to the street barefoot little by little and then like my girlfriend taught me, run one mile barefoot for let's say one month and then run two miles the following month barefoot and then three miles barefoot and so on and so forth. You build up little by little. You're basically strengthening your calluses under your feet. And that prevents injury. So it's really not that dangerous. I mean, even if you get glass in your feet, you just pull it out. So the worst case scenario is if you get like, really bloody something really bloody and i have run for like three miles with tons of blood coming out of my toe that's like the worst case scenario but just get it really clean and then you're fine yeah. so yeah we encourage you to try barefoot running yeah. you can see surfers out there there's a lot of surfers today all right so is that it so it's burning barefoot is very therapeutic it's uh it's basically meditation for me you're basically meditating because you're in the moment. It gives you presence of mind and it's totally relaxing. I love yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So get out there and if you have ideas of topics you want us to talk about in the future, just post them in the comments and maybe we'll talk about them in another video. Have, have a great a day. day.